Let's forget about this game. Um, and move forward. The trade just became official, so I believe you can talk about it now. So um, what do you think about you all, what you all received in return, starting with Halliburton? You know, we we feel that uh, Tyrese Halliburton is an elite young point guard that affects the game positively in many, many ways. Uh, Buddy Heald is an elite shooter, has been for the last several years. Um, and Tristan Thompson is a proven veteran center who was a starter on a championship team in 2016. So, you know, we're getting three good players that – are very good now. Um, and in the case of Tyrese as a 21 year old or 22, whatever it is, I think, he, I think he's 21. Um, you know, he has a chance to continue to grow and to continue to get better. We think he's a great fit with, with Malcolm Brogdon. Um, it essentially gives us, you know, two playmakers in the backcourt and a lot of versatility. And so it's an exciting trade, you know, it, it's, it changes, the landscape significantly. Um, but, you know, Kevin and Chad um, felt that we needed a, a new direction. And so, you know, this is a big part of that direction. And then what do you think of possibly, well, not possibly, but eventually pairing Halliburton and, and Duarte in the backcourt as well as two young guys, two rising stars guys? Yeah, look, we've got – you know, with, uh, with Chris, with, uh, with Malcolm, uh, you know, Dwayne Washington is a developing young player. Um, you know, we've got guys at the wing position, Torrey Craig, you know, we've got guys at the wing position that give us versatility. Um, you know, Duarte has been doing some very good things, you know, particularly in recent games. I thought he was, I thought his game tonight was, was really, really good at the offensive end. We struggled defensively all night long. But, you know, he mixed, he mixed in uh, drives and outside shots, passed the ball well. And, you know, I think Tyrese is a guy that, you know, makes people around him better. Um, and so, you know, we, we, uh, we're excited to get him. You know, it's, it's the old saying, you got to give up good players to get good players. And so, you know, I mentioned before the game that the, you know, the exit of, of Domas and Justin and Jeremy, um, you know, there, there's always mixed feelings when, when good players and good people leave. But, uh, you know, the, the hope is that this trade is, is a successful trade for both teams. Rick, it's rare to get a player that is as good and as young as Tyrese is via trade. Um, with the understanding that you haven't been around him probably a whole lot, what do you sense his ceiling is? What do you sense the type of player he can become is? Well, you're seeing many signs of it now. I, I saw that there was some analytic stuff that was released on social media today that just showed the impact that he has positive impact that he has on, on the, the overall game. Um, you know, he's a guy that not only gets a lot of assists, but he gets a lot of the hockey assists, the pass that leads to the pass. Um, he's a ball mover. He's an energy giver. Uh, <clears throat> he's an elite three point shooter. You know, that's 40 plus percent two two years in a row. And that's, you know, a really good indicator. Um, and so, you know, it's it's exciting, but you don't get a guy like that unless you give up a lot. And, and we did. Um, but this is, you know, finding, you know, a franchise caliber uh, point guard, you know, to uh, at age 21 is extremely difficult to do. And so, uh, you know, it, it's uh, you know, we're excited about the trade and uh, looking forward to getting. Uh, Tyrese, Buddy, and Tristan here. I just got off the phone with Buddy for the first time. We missed each other during the day. And, uh, you know, he's a baller, and he's, he says he can't wait to get to Indiana and get ready to go. So um, we'll look forward to seeing these, seeing these guys hopefully soon. Rick, you mentioned before the game that some of the guys you acquire have 
you know, certain skills that you like, and you just brought up Tyrese's three point percentage, buddy shooting. How much do those guys being such huge and good three point shooters help you guys as a team? And that's a skill that you guys have been kind of lacking this year. Yeah. You can never have too much shooting in today's game. I think that's, I think that's an obvious fact. Um, you know, we've had our struggles this year. Um, and I just, it just, uh, we're just in a world today where, you know, you can't have enough great shooting. And so uh, that was a priority for us, you know, as the deadline approaches. Uh, and again, we got two guys that have proven it over time. And so, uh, you know, that's, that's a very positive move for us. Yeah, Rick, you, you, uh, Tyrese uh, played on and off the ball a lot in Sacramento. He kind of shared that backcourt duties with, with De'Aaron Fox. Do you see him as more of a, a point guard? I see him and Brogdon both as really good playmakers. Um, you know, I, I, think, I think it's important to note that, you know, this move we feel enhances Malcolm um, <clears throat> for a couple of reasons. Number one, you know, when you're the, only, when you're the lone point guard, uh, you know, with a, in a starting lineup, it's, it's, it's a lot of wear and tear. Um, having two playmakers in the backcourt uh, and both guys that, that shoot the ball at a high level, um, you know, helps make the game easier for everyone on the floor. And so we feel those, those two guys fit uh, very well together. And uh, so, you know, it's just, you know, we're just looking forward to getting these guys here and, you know, trying to get Malcolm back on the floor, you know, sometime soon when he's, whenever he's ready and, and, and going from there. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thanks.